pulling up to ALA Queen Creek and uh, real quick, Andy Liberto from County Line Preps. Yep. And we're gonna have Andy Liberto be one of the people that's gonna um, settle this debate between me and uh, Cody, the Senator. Um, greatest wide receiver of all time. I said Larry Fitzgerald, if you watched the last vlog, or the vlog before that. I said Larry Fitzgerald, Cody said Jerry Rice because he's a San Francisco homer. Um, Liberto, I, I gotta know, what do you think? I'm going Fitzgerald, and I'm, I'm, basing, I'm basing at least part of my answer on the off-field behavior as much as what they did on the field. Or Jerry Rice off, off the field is an idiot. Sorry, Cody. Just call it like I see it. Bailey, Queen Creek, very, very smart. I'm doing the entire vlog right in front of this thing. So excited. Genius. So you guys aren't short on talent at all this year with the Hubler kid as a freshman. You got Jameson as a freshman. Hubler's Rand Jansen. Yeah, Rand, they're both Jensen right? and Hubler standing back there. Jensen looks like he's acting as a running back. Those are, the, those, are those two right there standing in the quarterback position. What can we what can we expect from ALA this year? Nine, ten wins. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go ten and out. That's our goal with our seniors. They uh, can't go to the playoffs, so our regular season is our playoff and championship. And so, so the big matchup with Benjamin Franklin is gonna be your playoff game. Yeah. 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 Um, we, you know, we're looking forward to playing Thatcher, frankly. They, they're going to have a great program. We're looking forward to Phoenix, where it's going to be tough. But Gilbert North, our sister school over there, I think they're going to be pretty good. they got a lot of kids out. In September. So I think there'll be some games that we're going to have to be ready for. But What's going to be the strength of this year's team? Um, I think our depth, we're going to have a lot of depth. We don't have a lot. We only have two kids returning with varsity experience. Um, and so we're going to have, we're just going to be inexperienced. If we can get those guys, you know, getting a bunch of reps here before the game start and then get them some early game reps, we're going to be, we've got some transfer kids that can't play for five games. Every school I feel like yeah, has that. Yeah, we're going to be a different team game six than we will be game one. As a coach, what is your like opinion on the transfer rules and how it's handled and stuff like that? Um, not to say the AIA, the AIA does it wrong, but I know like other states have different rules. Uh, California is open, go wherever you want, and uh, Ohio, I guess, like you just miss the second half of the playoffs. Like, is there a solution? I don't know that there is. To be honest, I, I've I've listened to the debate here recently about adopting the Ohio, the, the rules of Ohio State, the state of Ohio uses. I don't know that, you know, making them sit out in the second half in the playoffs, like, what does it do for the kid? And the last time I checked, we're supposed to be out here for the kids, so I'm not sure that's that's the right solution. We were in some AI meetings this weekend, and they talked about, well, why are we doing what we're doing? Well, the answer was, not for championships, for kids. If the kid transfers for academic purposes, they don't make him sit out the first five weeks of the school year. You don't need to answer that, but I'm, I'm just putting that out there. Chili. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> I know you have two super talented freshmen, one one quarterback, Hubler, and one running back, Jameson. Uh, how soon are you going to be putting their feet to the fire, Coach? I, I'm, I'm curious. Great I, I question. just got to know. Great question. I want to add somebody to that duo. There's three of them. Sean Hunter is a young man that's their age, and he's a receiver. And that kid's got talent. They're gonna be good if disclaimer on all three of them. If they'll work hard and stay in the weight room, as I and Sean and just progress weight-wise, um, that have been unbelievable. Where we have Rand Jensen that we're applying for a hardship, and that's a transfer yeah. from Basha. Okay. So how that goes may dictate what we do with Hubler. So I'm not trying to avoid your question. I just don't know. We haven't decided what we're doing. But Isaiah Jameson will play right away for us. He will be a running back for us. He's a six foot, 186 pound freshman, and he's going to get so, time right up. So by the end of his ALA career, he could own the record books. He could absolutely rewrite them. Go. How long have you 
crib in here. This is my fourth season, one in my fourth season now. So nice. this is a this is a new year for us. This is the first So you brought time. Neville along. Matt was actually a receiver and then going into his senior year, he came up to me, he was kind of the back of court guy, he goes, Coach, I want to be the guy. And I go, Well, I need you to step up in the off season and be a leader and work your butt off and he did. And I think that's why he had the season he had. He worked his tail off. Okay, so you got the hardworking senior, and then the following season, which would be this season, you get to get this prodigy of a freshman. Uh, talk to me a little bit about Hugo. Logan, what I really like about Logan is he's smart for a freshman. He's already understanding, you know, his hot routes and blitzes and defenses. He knows his reads, um, pretty solid on his footwork and his uh, timing, so he needs to get a little bigger. Um, but I, I'm really excited for him in the future. What he's already done as a freshman is pretty impressive, so we're lucky to have him. You expecting to see him get some playing time early on while uh, you guys are dealing with uh, kids that have to wait to game six? It just depends how it all works out, you know what I mean? We're waiting on some hardships and things, but yeah, he'll definitely get some playing time, and, and I want to get him some experience, but I also don't want to you know, throw him to the wolves. So it just depends on how we get through uh, uh, the scrimmage and going into our first game, what everything looks like. But I, I do know that if, if he did need to go on and play, um, and he was the guy, I feel confident that he could do it. Now, you are a quarterback that was bred here in this state dealing with all this hot heat and stuff like that. Um, I'm kind of curious, like, what are your thoughts nowadays on uh, quarterback coaches, like the private coaches that everybody has? I think I think there's some good qualities to it, and, and they can learn a lot of good things, but at the same time, um, they have to be on the same page as their high school coach. So I think most of the good quarterback coaches out there understand that, and they'll ask what kind of an offense they run or what, how their coach likes things and um, work on them based off that. But a lot of quarterback coaches, it's more about mechanics and throwing and things like that. And you see some of them now starting getting to the X's and O's and schemes and stuff. And um, So, you know, it's any time a coach, uh, I train quarterbacks and I do things, but anytime they want to go to someone else, they want to go out and see Rudy Carpenter, man, go see him. Okay. Maybe Rudy has something different than than what, what I have, and you can learn something from him. So, you know, I don't mind it. I tell my quarterbacks, go get as much work as you can. I also got to have you settle a debate question between me and one of my other media members at uh -oh. Arizona Varsity. Uh oh. Larry Fitzgerald, the greatest receiver of all time, true or false? True. Come on, man, that's true. Listen. I mean, throwing to throwing the ball to that guy was unbelievable. He made he made a quarterback shot easy. Cause you just put it anywhere close, he was gonna come down with it. Man. Smart, ran good routes, big, physical, best there ever was. You threw one touchdown to him. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Could you remember exactly how that play happened? Yeah, it was a it was kind of a red zone play. It was a hard play action to the left. He, he came down hard like he was going to block the safety and then kind of went straight up the field. So I sold play action really hard, flipped around, and threw it up high to him and came down with it. So there it is. So freshman sensation, talk to me a little bit. Uh, what's it like playing for Coach Hall? Uh, it's a really great experience. He's, of course, he played in the league. He's got some great tips. Great, uh, he's a great coach, and it's really nice. Um, what, are, what are some things that you feel like you've already been able to absorb and learn from him uh, in the short time that you guys have been together? Uh, just like the plays, the reads, what you're supposed to do every play, your assignment, literally just the game of football itself. Now, you're a freshman and it's not unheard of to have a freshman starting, but at quarterback, like, how important is it for you to try to get some of these early reps early in your freshman year? I mean, it, it's important to see like what type of competition that's going to be there and get some reps in, see what it's like, and then just move forward from there. I mean, what, what's it like, you know, being a freshman and, you know, getting into the system already? It's nice. It's, it's 
hard, it's varsity, and it's not equal. It's just it's fun. Now, a talent like you, you could have played anywhere. What brings you to ALA Queen Creek? The environment and the coaches and just the people that are here. What is it about uh, Coach Edwards and his program that you like so much? I like it. It fits, it fits me. I like the school. You, uh, Logan, Jameson, you know, what can we all expect? Three-headed monster? Three-headed monster, there it is. Y'all already heard it here first. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming out. Thanks, Thanks for you taking my day, man. You yeah, made my day. Not, not Chili, not Coach Shepard's Coach Hall. This is how we roll at ALA, Chili. <laughs> yeah, I like the golf cart thing. Yeah. With Hunter, Logan, and Jameson, I feel Steve like you got like the Coming Troy through. Aikman, Michael oh, Irvin, like Emmett Smith thing going on here at ALA. Kind of our version of the triplets, right? <laughs> yeah, like uh, how, how soon before you guys start playing up? We anticipate without question after this two-year block going to 4A for sure. There, I don't believe there's any question. And then if they do what their talk is to to open up football where you can classify individually as a school in football, but your other programs can stay maybe where they belong, uh, then we'll look at it moving where we think we'll be most competitive. Not where we we'll win the most games, but where we think we can compete and, and be competitive. So if that's Five, eight at the time. With those three, you might be winning the most games. Yeah. <laughs>